Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to be back here in the Arc Dev Kit to take a look at two new creatures that are set to be released in Update 254, scheduled to drop on January 20th. This first creature is also known as a marsupial lion, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So when I first heard about this creature, I was thinking it might be very similar to a saber tooth, but after reading about it, I think this is definitely going to kick the saber tooth's butt. It is a powerful poached predator that is native to the island's towering redwood forests that pursues a semi-arboreal <laughs> lifestyle as it chambers and leaps between the trees. A strong bite, the strongest of any land mammal, and bolt cutter-like teeth make this creature a formidable ambush predator leaping from above to crush the necks of the prey. So you definitely don't want this guy against you. And look at how big it is. Like it's taller than this human. Cre oh, all right. Well, now it's part of my head. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at the dossier on the Thylacoleo. The Thylacoleo is a large, powerful marsupial that can often be found hunting around trees. Its long claws and semi opposable digits make it an apt climber, a quality that Thylacoleo uses to its advantage while hunting. It clambers up trees and waits to ambush passing prey by pouncing upon them. When something that large jumps onto a target, it becomes stunned and doesn't stand much chance. Thylacoleo's most notable fighting quality is its powerful jaws. Once it bites its prey, it locks its jaws in an iron strength grip that can hold most smaller creatures in place. Thylacoleo then goes on to savage its prey with its sharp claws. If it needs to escape a fight, Thylacoleo uses its muscular hind legs to jump back to safety among the trees. Domesticated The Thylacoleo is a moderately strong mount and its ability to climb trees makes it useful for traversal such that developing tribes often tame it. Small raiding parties particularly favor Thylacoleo as it is well suited for ambushes and unfair fights. So I think this creature is definitely going to be a great PvP guide. The fact that you can be hiding up in some trees and just jump down and maul the heck out of whatever tribe or creatures that may be there. It's also going to be a lot of fun to see how well it climbs on trees because it said that it could so I don't know if it's going to be like the Tapaharo that like can climb just straight up or if it's better on more of an incline. So yeah, that's just something to wonder about. And also, it said about its opposable digits, check out these claws. Like this reminds me of a raptor claw. Like that thing is insane. Oh, and the bite, uh, that's similar to the um, the Caprasuco. So we'll see which one has a, a, a stronger bite when this guy is released. I think, I don't know. I feel like maybe this will be a kind of a land capro. No, because the capro can't like climb up a tree. So anyway, this is all that is in the dev kit for the Thylacoleo. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So, but I think this is a pretty good demonstration of what it's gonna look like. So there it is. There it is in all of its giant lion, marsupial lion creatureness. And so now we're going to move on to a creature that is not in the dev kit because it was going to be released um when at what was it the steam awards or something as if they won but then they decided to release it anyway um so when i was looking in the dev kit because i wasn't thinking at the time i was ser searching for the name of the dinosaur or excuse me creature and then i just put in sheep and um well i'm not quite sure what this is in here whatever it is but when you search sheep in the dev kit this is what you get yeah, just just a little creepy, huh? There's like an ear, a weird tongue situation going on, a snout, I think, I don't know. But this is when you start sheep in the dev kit. But what I was really wanting to show you guys is the new uh, creature, the Ovis, which is, well, a sheep. And its dossier is actually pretty hilarious. So let's go ahead and check out the dossier for the sheep. Wild. Since arriving on the island, I have encountered dozens of fascinating creatures whose behavior has never been studied or documented. And also sheep. Granted, Ovis Arkham is quite different from the modern domesticated sheep and even from wild sheep species such as Ovis Orientals. The unique markings on its face give it a striking appearance, and the male's horns possess a unique shape that is unlike any other species in the Ovis genus. As one might expect, Ovis stands little chance against the island's many predators, as with the dodo, its continued survival in the face of these severe challenges is a mystery. 
domesticated. Some survivors have found herds of ovids to be useful in farm life. Their thick wool can be repeatedly safely sheared with the proper tools, and cooked lamb chops are a popular dish among some tribes, as is their hypernutritious mutton. Every now and then, a survivor with a sense of humor will attempt to utilize Ovis as a mount since it can clamber up steeper inclines than many other animals, although the joke becomes significantly less amusing once their slow ride is run down by a pack of raptors. One tribe has grown particularly attached to Ovis, perhaps uncomfortably so. I don't know the tribe's actual name, but I refer to them as the Sheep Lovers. How fantastic is that? Not to mention, when you look at temperament of, of the Ovis on the dossier, it says stupid. It's just stupid sheep. But if I remember cor correctly, sheep are actually kind of intelligent creatures. So these must be just like really, really dumb animals. But I am excited to see them in all their dumb glory. And also for the shearing of the sheep. Because they're going to be introducing actual like um, cutting of hairs for people in the game. So shearing of sheep will be another fun dynamic to have. Plus, they also, similar to the, that guy over there, though probably on two very, very different scales, are going to be able to climb steeper inclines. So that's just a fun little, you know, common thing that the two have, that they have that you wouldn't have thought of. So, anyway, that is going to be our first look at the Thylacoleo and the sheep. I know, if this is just as creepy to me as it is to you, I can't even, but that is going to be it. So if you guys like the video, please leave a comment or a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, that way you know when I put out a new video. Let me think of how excited you are, or let me know what you think of the sheep or the thylacoleo and which one you guys are most excited about, and I will talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>